Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. Today we are in the thick of homeschool. Sophie is doing an online program this year and, and Gabby has gone to school. It was a bit of a crazy first day. We found our routine finally. I love routine. School brings back routine. We all were up early. Sam and Sophie did chores. I did my goat chores. It just all worked out so well. Usually I go down and let the goats and the duck and the goose out and then go, Sophie and I go back and do chores later. But today I just stayed down there, did all my chores. We all met back here just in time for homeschool. It's been a beautiful day. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day. So let's get on with the video. It's actually 12.51. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. We finally finished homeschool. It was a long one. It was a long day. Math was the funnest for some reason. Math is actually fun if you can understand it. It's actually like critical thinking. It's like figuring things out. It's actually fun if you have a good teacher. Who's your math teacher? Dad. <laughs> Dad. You can't teach. <laughs> yeah, I can't teach math. All right, so what are we doing on the farm today, I Sophie? I have an awesome idea. She has an awesome idea. Can you grab the yellow thing and try which, and pull it off? Which, ah, wait a minute. It just clips off. It doesn't. Oh, well you have to unscrew it. Which, you what? know what, it's fine with it on. It might hold it. All right, what's your what's hold your idea? To fence in a little area here for the chicken. I just want it for the silkies. So her plan is to free range, uh, sort of, uh, a few of the chickens. We haven't talked about chickens for a while. And so I'm going to give you an update. Sam got this light and put it in here so that we can have light at night. Because the chickens are the last, first ones we put out in the morning. And the last things we take care of at night, we close in at night. And it's always dark now. So he got that light and it stopped working. So then he hung up this really nice light and it stopped working. So I have the weirdest feeling that there's something wrong with this plug. You don't think it's a good idea to make it movable? Movable? Yeah, because they'll eat all that green stuff up in a day. In a couple of days. All right. Ellie, what do you have? What is that, Ellie? Ellie, what do you have? <laughs> Where did you find a corn on the cob? <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, cute baby. Come here. Ruby. Oh, got it. <laughs> so school was really great today. Uh, one thing I really noticed about Sophie this last, since we've moved here, is that she's really like starting to pick up all of the interest that Sam and I have like how she's building this fence right now and she wants to free range her chickens. Oh, This one walked right up to me. I know that's silky. Like take me outside again. Aww. They they need their nails cut. They have the cutest little Look at their little nails. sounds. Oh gosh yeah I'll trim your toe. Ellie where'd you find more corn? Ellie where are you finding corn? <laughs> what the heck? She's so happy. <laughs> I know, I love it when she prances away. Come here. Come here, okay. sweet baby. Yeah. Come here, good girl. Got it. <laughs> She's so dumb. Ellie, leave them alone. All right, so go get the babies. Oh, they're so happy. So she has it all fenced in here, so she'll leave them out here during the daytime so they can eat. And we should bring them all out, to be honest. They will fly. These ones don't try and jump out. The dogs are like, wow, this is such a great day. The chickens are like, wow, this is such a great day. Okay, go get the babies. There you go. Biscuit, stop. Ellie, stop. So hopefully you guys did a great Look how job. Look her ears are. Let's see. Like wow, really blue. Such a pretty blue. These guys haven't been outside before. Yeah, so these are all the same breed. These are the babies. Those are the big ones. You can probably see a difference between them and why we keep them separate. They're still on grower feed. So we don't want the big ones to have grower feed because it impacts how many eggs they lay. So we keep the babies separate until they go onto the grower, or onto the layer feed. These guys are pretty, quite far from laying still didn't take me any thought at all. I thought, 
That was like two days ago. I was well, like, I'm gonna make this. And then today I made it. And it didn't take her any thought of all at all, you guys. Well, your dad helped you, but I don't know. Okay, it's, but I thought of it. I know, but it's kind of flimsy in the middle there. Do you think you should have a pole in the middle? No. It's actually scorching hot outside today. Scorching. Oh, I forgot the corn I wanted to give to the duck. Hi, handsome. What's happening in the hood? <laughs> He's like, do I need, do you need more food? Last night, everybody had fans. But the girls had fans over there, and then Chino had a fan last night. I don't know if you guys can see it, but do you see how up here, how all his muscles have pulled away from his top line? Look in the pool. Ellie, get out of that pool! Anyway, what I was saying was that, do you guys see how like, the muscle is pulled away from the top line here. There's like nothing, nothing here. But lately, the duck and goose are so funny. I've been noticing that there's a little bit of cushion in here now. So that happened all the way along his spine because he has Lyme disease, obviously, <laughs> and it causes weight loss. But I, but la early last week I could tell that he was starting to fill in in this section. I don't know if you guys can see it, but he is actually, he is actually starting to fill in back here on both sides. Uh, so we just need to wait for this thing to come, but he is eating a lot. I notice changes in him daily. Obviously you can still see his ribs a little bit up here, but his belly is growing. He is filling in everywhere. Wow, he ate all that. That was a whole bale of hay. Wow, and they ate all that too. Yeah. All right, let's get you some more hay. <laughs> He's like, yes, please notice I'm out. Up till now, I noticed that a bale of hay would have lasted them till like five o'clock at night. Maybe because it was soaked. I don't know, but now they are, they are well, he's flying through hay like, yes. faster and faster. Sophie, can you get this door for me? I'm gonna throw it in here because it's so hot. It's so hot. And I noticed that him and Willow, I noticed all the horses actually come in for hay, actually, I have to take him out. Why did I do that? Now that Gabby's at school, we have to do his feet, and then we have to take him out for grass. But we might wait and take him out for grass in the in the afternoon after she gets home because he's a big, huge, dark-colored boy, and I know he does not love the sun. And do you guys remember when I told you I was pretty sure he was having headaches? I'm not so sure anymore. He started to come in here and hide his head in the corner and just rest every afternoon. And I thought maybe it was headaches because he would like literally put his head over that stall and just rest there. And then as he got better and better, he still does it every single day. But not only does he do it, but Willow does it too. So. Over, but she yeah, so they come in and they stand here and they nap in the afternoon and it made me think about how like Storm Always does that. He can't handle the Sun. That's what I always thought he was doing because at our old house They used to all come in and sleep against the wall like faces. Yeah, started. they did it all They all did it. They'd come in and they put their faces against the wall and they would Sleep there so for sure that's probably what it is because he is um, so much better. He is so much better, but still coming in every afternoon. Did you guys know we have a uh, grapevine? This is a grapevine here. It is actually so hot, you guys. Look at my board. Doesn't it look cute? It's so hot. And I don't understand who made this. I could never figure this gate out. It does not work good. Why does this smell like popcorn? It's, it's corn. Mm. All right, so we're gonna see if our goats who literally won't eat anything like corn. We're gonna give some to the boys too. Wow, the mamas like it. You should have named her LaRocca. The one time this goat has liked me. <laughs> the one time this goat has liked anybody. She is really nice, but she's our lead girl. She's our head girl, so she's the boss, and she kind of likes just, to be in charge. You know, she doesn't like when I put the food on the ground for Give her. Mocha one. Here, Milk. Tilly. Don't fight over it. 
All right, we're going to leave that here for them, you guys. It's, it is so hot out here. Tonight's going to have to be a nighttime vlog because fat, Mocha? it literally is just so hot. We can't even <laughs> hardly stand it. She's so fat, I can't pick her up. <laughs> here, Blossom. Blossom is actually really tiny. She's a tiny goat. Oh, you got 10 pounds heavier. You got 10 pounds heavier. <laughs> Do you guys remember when we put a bunch of branches in the in the goat field here for the goats to climb on and eat. Well, they ate it all down and Sam's been working on getting it all out of here now, like getting all the all the old branches and stuff that they're not gonna eat. He already came down and did a little bit and then went back in the house. It's that hot out today. This is how you get locked in the barn all the time. Come on. Me and I did a language test. It was grammar. I suck at grammar. Okay, I got five. But we did the test. I watched her do the test. And I agreed with all of her answers. It was out of 10. <laughs> How did you do? I got five. Five out of 10. And it was like. Okay, but on my math test, I got all of them right. Yeah. First day math test, what the hell? You win some, you lose some. I brought my phone out here so I could check if Gabby calls me. Nothing. <laughs> Not even a message. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, uh-oh. <laughs> okay, grab that. Get in here, Minnie. Uh-oh. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we, we might try Chino today without the boots. We're probably gonna keep. So what we're using, what we're doing right now, hey, <laughs> you're knocking everything over. So uh, what we're doing right now is keeping some padding on parts of his feet to, to keep him off his toes, if that makes sense. It's just something that we want to do, continue doing, because did you guys know that if you're going to have any damage from laminitis, it can take two months after you have a laminitis flare before you can tell what the permanent damage will be. So far, he hasn't had any issues at all from the last x-ray, no rotation at all, but the last laminitis flare was probably the worst when he first start, when he started the drugs. But our farrier thinks it's still probably pretty mild compared to other play cases that she's seen. So by the time he gets his x-ray, we're hoping that he's going to be okay. So far, preliminary, it looks like he's going to be okay. <laughs> Did you guys just see that? <laughs> First time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you better get back under there. It's so bright and sunny in here, you can hardly see. But the reason he came under is because he wants to be close to me. There, it's like baby geese stay with their parents for a year and they, they need that like attention. So that's why it's hard that he's alone, that they're alone. So the duck is bonded to the goose, but the goose really wants like a parent figure. Look at that. Look at that. Our boy is a walking boy. All right, so hear me out, you guys. Let me tell you my plans for Chino, who is literally doing amazing. My plan is to get his health up before he's done the drugs. So every time I say that what caused this, this outbreak of Lyme disease was because of stress, I think probably most of you guys think it was like an emotional stress, but it wasn't, it was a physical stress. When we added a new horse to his field, he felt like he needed to protect the mares. And so that's what he did for a couple of days. He stood guarding the mares and he would only eat in his stall at night. Oh, he lost weight. And the stress of that just kind of threw him over the edge. It allowed the Lyme to take over a system. So my plan <laughs> is to get him eating grass before the drugs wear out. I want him to really, he gets 40 minutes today, Gabby. We can throw him in the field over there and leave him. So I want like, because grass can be so healing for horses and so good for them. And it has vitamins and nutrients that they can't get from like hay. He fights now. <laughs> Come on. I mean, he's not perfect, but he's walking without any padding on his feet. I need to get Willow and bring her out too so that they can both come out together. I just throw him out there because there's shade. Take him up where the shade is so he can see it. But he's up to 40 minutes on, sh on, <laughs> Gabby's like, he'll find it. <laughs> he's up, yeah, he's up to 40 minutes on the grass now. I'm going a little faster than I ever would, but because his gut health is like handling it and he's doing well right now, 
I want to get him up there before he has like a relapse. Come on. Because sometimes Let's horses, go. sometimes horses when they get off the antibiotics, they'll have a relapse. So I want to like try and, that's my plan right now, but I also have another plan. Plan to get him the Lyme disease shot that they give to dogs. Because apparently it, it stalls the disease. Chino has never really seen the farm. So even though like he's out there grazing right now, he keeps on putting his head up and he's looking around and he's looking at everything. And he's like, honestly, now that he's feeling better, he's probably like, how did I get here? Like, where are we? My dog is literally the dumbest dog. She's literally, I just watched her jump in the water. <laughs> And when she does it, she jumps in so happy and she knows already that she's gonna submerge her body. We are gonna do chores early tonight. All summer we put them in late, like really late so they could enjoy their time outside. <laughs> but uh, now we have like homework and reading and Loves it. We have a lot going on at night. Both of the girls need to have a shower. So we're gonna do chores early. I try and keep this Chino's field cleaned out of poop because I'm worried that the dogs will eat it and he takes a lot of like strong medication and I don't want them to have it. There he is over there resisting his medication. I gave it to him this morning and he hated it. He hates it now. They might not come tonight. They might not come tonight because it's early. They're not used to coming in when it's light out. Are they coming? Come on! So the funny thing about Penny is that she comes like about a half an hour before bedtime and she'll stand out here and she'll knicker and knicker. But you can tell it's like not a happy knicker. She's like, where's my food kind of knicker. And she's like a complainer. She's like out here. Even the goats know it's bedtime now. But she's, she comes out here and she stands here and she like complains and complains and then she'll go back to the other horses and then she'll come back and she'll complain because she's waiting for her grain. My favorite part of the day is watching them run for supper. They're oh, they're coming now. <laughs> He's like, why didn't you? They're like, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Sam's walking faster. Oh. <laughs> They're like, it's early! <laughs> Come on! Come on, it's dinner time! <laughs> Fans again tonight. Penny was first. Penny was first. Honey. Oh, honey was first. Look at Penny comes in like a, like a ears pinned back. Everybody look out, it's my turn. <laughs> Did you have a good time today, Chino? So we're gonna try him tonight without his padding on his feet and see how he does, but he seems to be doing really well. Whew, it is scorching hot out. One thing that we've noticed is that um, I was worried about not having walls between the two horses. I really wanted them to be able to meet each other across the thing, but I was worried about it. And they love each other. They're good friends over there. Oh, he is. Gabby just said Chino is a friendly horse, and he is. But the reason that we can't put Chino out with the other horses when we give him on the when we put him on the grass is because Storm. And I'm not blaming Storm, but Storm's a horse, and he's the leader of this herd. So it's his job to protect us girls, just like what used to be Chino's. And I know that Storm will run him off. And that's okay, that's normal herd behavior. But Chino's feet aren't ready for being run off all the time. They heard you calling them. I know. They're all ready for bed. They're all like, it's dinner time. Everybody comes to the barnyard when it's time for dinner. Don't you know